tenemos aquí a la vista jóvenes es una de las plazas más importantes dentro de la gran cultura maya palencana so it's going to be hard to see from this angle because the GoPro can't zoom in but on the second white column to the right there is a skull at the base right at the bottom try to see if I can zoom in on my iPhone this is known as the skull temple there was about 40,000 people that inhabited this area the royalty obviously lived in the stone buildings the locals lived in wooden houses which are all gone now oh there's a lot of mud the original name is not Palenque that was given to them by the Spanish because of its fortified setting surrounded by trees and look like a fenced area the original Mayan name is something different. So another fact we just learned about this place, it's dedicated to the god of death, the underworld. But no human sacrifices were performed here. So this is the tomb of the Red Queen. The door was hidden and the original archaeologist who was here, the local, she started removing the casing stones and found the door which led to the tomb. We'll go in there in just a second. Well, that's good. Nobody's going here. He's going by himself. Exactly. What is happening? Yeah. Oh, it certainly smells strange in here. It smells like a basement. Yeah. Wow. Is that one what, what? That would be her sarcophagus, yeah. So the skull one was connected to here. So we know that the Red Queen, she suffered from osteoporosis, which is, a, I believe, a deficiency in vitamin C, which makes your bones weak. She was likely sacrificed and or killed early. And they also found two bodies with her, young girls, probably her servants. Likely they were her best ones and she wanted them to continue with her in the afterlife. The bones have now been removed and they are in Mexico City in the main museum. Okay, so yeah, all the royalty normally they will have the skulls like that, like, uh, like a cone ones. basically, yeah. like long one, like, like beautiful. Well, for them was a beauty, mm -hmm. was basically a sign of beauty, mm -hmm. and uh, they were they were doing like that. And also we heard like for example in Chichen Itza, the warriors they will make the war warriors like jaguars and mm. eagles. So it depends. If you were an eagle warrior, they will have the that. Kind of, they will, they will break the, they will break the nose. nose to make it look like, like an eagle like, to make it look like or an eagle like also a like the head and a jaguar they will make it like flat like square uh -huh. so they put like so some so woods or something to squeeze yeah, yeah, yeah. it they will line their teeth also to yes to sharpen like the a, teeth yeah. okay yeah, well basically for royalty was always like uh -huh. kind of a amount of beauty and also like status mm -hmm. so this complex here is called the palacio el palacio it's been modified. These buildings have all been modified over the course of many times, over the course of 400 years. The tower there was likely used as an observatory. Oh, 
That is the first time that I have seen a tower amongst all the places we've been to on this trip. So a brief story about this pyramid. It's got 68 steps, which is how long the ruler Pakao, who's buried here, ruled. Uh, his kingdom lasted 68 years, and there's nine steps, which symbolizes the nine levels of life. The main gist of why this place was only operational or running for 200 years, they had a powerful alliance, um, and then one of the rulers decided to break it, and the military from the other side, uh, one of the other cities came and destroyed You hear the clapping echo? Came and destroyed the, the city. Well, I just found out the only king in the Mayan world and his family that were found in sarcophaguses or sarcophagi are located, were located in this pyramid here. That's how representation for the world, yeah, the, 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 god, yeah, the god of air, the god of wind, Ik. Oh, the god of wind, yeah, oh, that makes sense. So they were okay. using that to, well, to let the, the light go through from one gallery to another gallery. Uh -huh. So they were making all these kind of holes, uh -huh. so the, the mass of the, of the building won't be that much, that will, be, that will collapse somehow. Mm. So they, they were making all these kind of holes, so somehow it will make it lighter, yeah, so it will make it lighter, mm. and also will get the air go through, mm. so it will like the, the whole ventilation system somehow. Interesting. So this area is where they would honor the warriors. You can still see the reliefs over here in the original colors. This was more of a residential area and that's why you can see toilets all over the place. So the toilets here had an underground water system that was under these stairs. They would pour water after they went to the bathroom and they would throw plants in there to clean the smell and disinfect. And the water system would carry it away. And the toilets were divided by men and women. This is an original doorway. And you can still see the Mayan decorations here. Here. Water. God of water? Yeah. Oh, the water, but you will see more red and blue on the next one. There. Ah, y de ahí como que la agarraban o qué? Es ahí donde los mayas metían pieles bien tensados, amarraban billetes. So this courtyard here was used for a couple of reasons, a couple of different uh, things. The first was they made political agreements here. In fact, the uh, agreement they made, the Triple Alliance between two, the Palenque and two more cities was made here. And also this was where the prisoners were kept. Uh, they were tortured here, they were humiliated here. And that's the uh, two reliefs on the left and right side represent them. How you know they're prisoners, they're touching their shoulder. So here is the, the ball court, the tradition of the games was started here 
but here there were no human sacrifices found, so they think that it was actually just played for fun. Whereas in Chichen Itza and other places, they actually killed either the winning team or the losing team or the winning captain. Nobody exactly knows. I'm here just for fun. Right next to the prisoner torture camp. So down there is the subterranean river system. You can see it goes right in and continues that way and goes all throughout here. You can also see there's more ruins up there. This is why this place is only 5% uncovered. So contrary to popular belief, the Mayans did not just disappear. They escaped escaped up to the jungle, running away from the Spanish, into the highlands, and they also intermixed. But they do exist today. They did not disappear. No aliens. Looks like another room. So here's a bed. One solid piece. There's a bat that just flew by. Temple of the Sun, yeah. And so these three will, were built, what, what was his name? Uh, the Sun? Kambalam. Kambalam. Kambalam is the Sun. So he had them built. So this represents the nine levels in the afterlife. And this is the... This was the nine levels in the afterlife, he said? Or life? Yeah, the afterlife. Afterlife, uh-huh. After, after, after death. After like death, to, yeah. After uh -huh. death, to, to reborn again. So uh -huh. For the nine, nine steps, the to nine get to steps. the level of the earth again. Uh -huh. And these were 13 steps to go to heaven. To go to heaven. So it's like a whole cycle again. Yeah. So you first you have to get back to earth from yeah. underground, or from the lower part, yeah. and then up to heaven, 13 steps. <laughs> So this pyramid represents the nine levels you have to get back up to from the afterlife to the level of the earth. And then you, your soul or your spirit would travel up to 13 steps to heaven. So this is the front of the complex where we just were. We walked all behind it and now we're in front of it. So we have some megalithic blocks here. Very different from the rest of this area. It's actually the only area I've seen so far that has these blocks. You can see that they're lined up precisely. It doesn't appear to be mortar or binding aging between. The rest of them are scattered here on the ground, broken. Very interesting. <laughs> 